Pepper Young's family. Pepper Young's family is the true-to-life story of your friends, the Youngs. In a moment, today's story, after this message from our sponsor. Peggy Young is going to Chicago with Carter Trent, the boy she loves, to meet his parents, the socially prominent Trents. So far, the biggest problem that's come up has been to find a lovely dress for Peggy to wear. But there will doubtless be much more trouble before the trip is over. It's afternoon now, and the doorbell at the Young's house is ringing. Mrs. Young calls out. Just a minute. I'm coming. Hello, Mrs. Young. Is Peggy home yet? Oh, Carter, come on in. No, she isn't in yet. But she ought to be back from school any minute now. Mind if I wait? Why, of course not. Is Mr. Young in? No, he went over to Johnstown. Was he feeling up to it? No, I don't know whether he was or not, but you know he's one of those people who feel that the, the whole world will stop revolving on its axis unless he's at his desk. Maybe he should have waited another day or two. Yes, of course he should have. But you know Mr. Bradley, his partner, is going out to Chicago to a new business. And Mr. Young is closing up his office in Johnstown. Oh, he was so hopeful that the little business he'd built up there would succeed. And now I want to take his daughter away from him. You know, I don't blame Mr. Young for not being keen. I know how he feels. Well, dear, you know, he he thinks she's a little young, and, and she is. Mm, I suppose she is. But if we can build our life together while we're still young, we're just that much ahead of the game. I wouldn't be afraid for a minute to trust her future in your hands, Carter, but what's your family going to say to all this? After all, they must have some pretty definite ideas about the sort of girl they expect you to marry. Well, I don't think they've given it any thought. But, but Carter, you say you've written to them about Peggy. Half the time, I don't think Mother reads my letters through. Hmm. She's so busy with her own doings that other people's affairs don't always register with her. You don't think they've taken in the fact that you're very fond of Peggy? But with Peggy going to Chicago to meet them... Oh, they're so used to entertaining people at the house, they wouldn't think anything about it at all. Uh, tell me, Carter, what... What do you think your mother will say when you you finally get it across to her that you are seriously interested in Peggy? Oh, why, why, she'll be crazy about it, of course. Couldn't be anything else. Well, you know, Carter, going out to Chicago to visit your father and mother will be... Well, it'll be quite an ordeal for Peggy. Why an ordeal? Well, she's going to be like a fish out of water. She's not going to be the natural, unaffected girl you see around here. She's going to be tongue-tied and awkward and frightened, Carter. You see, she's going to want so much to make a good impression and be so afraid of not making one. Well, she doesn't have to be afraid of that. They'll love her. Well, I'm not so sure. But whether they do or not, they have just as much right to meet her as we have to meet you. And, Carter, you, you will help her all you can. She won't need any help, Mrs. Young. She doesn't have to worry about that. All she'll need is the dress she flies out in and a dinner dress. A dinner dress? Well, Mother sort of likes us to dress for dinner. But if you think that would be too much trouble... Oh, I... no, 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 of course not. I, uh, she'll uh, uh, take a dinner dress with her. Carter, darling! Hey, Peggy. <laughs> I dropped in to tell you you're going out to dinner with me tonight, in case you didn't know it. Oh, how heavenly. Well, I have to cut and run now. I'll be back for you at 7. Oh, Carter, do you have to go now, this minute? Yep, now, this minute. I'll see you at 7. All right. So long, Mrs. Young, and thanks for a swell talk. Thank you, Carter. We'll return to the story of Pepper Young's family after this message from our sponsor. Carter leaves. Peggy is filled with questions. Mama. Yes, darling? What did Carter talk about? <laughs> about you. Oh. What did he say? Well, the most important thing he said was that you're going to need a dinner dress to take to Chicago with you. What? Well, the way you're going to get one is beyond me. Uh, a dinner dress? It isn't going to be a party or anything, is it? Well, no, darling. Now, as far as I know... Well, then why would I need a dinner dress? Well, it seems the Trents always dress for dinner. Every night? You mean even when there isn't any company? But what for? I'm sure I don't know, Peggy. Except that it's a nice custom, and if you have the time and the means to follow it. But I haven't got any dinner dress. I know that, darling. I know that. I was... I was just wondering... 
If we could turn any of your party dresses into a dinner dress. Oh, no. They're all too fussy. Maybe I'd better not go. Oh, Hickey, now, come on now. Nonsense. You mustn't let anything like that stop you. Oh, I don't think I mind being stopped. Oh, Mama, I'm getting awfully cold feet about going. <laughs> Tell me, what else did Carter say about his family? He said he'd written to them about you. Oh, yes, I, I know that. Well, you know, I asked him what his mother's reaction was to the letter. Yes, and what did he say? Well, he said he doubted if his mother had read the letter through. Hmm. What a funny mother she must be. You know, darling, I don't think Carter's written her that he's going to marry you. You don't? No, I think he's merely written to them that, that, that he's met an attractive girl and wants to bring her home for the weekend. But won't they think he's in love with me if he wants to bring me all the way to Chicago for a weekend? Well, apparently not. I guess the Trents take their weekend guests in their stride. Mama, I'm not going. Oh, Peggy, come on now, darling. You've got to go. Why? Because, as I told Carter, they've got as much right to see you as, as we have to see him. Oh, but they sound like the dreadful people. Oh, no, darling, they don't. I, I just... Well, I think they sound like different kind of people from the ones you've been used to. But Carter's not like that at all. No, he's not. I think he wants, above everything else, to... To have a simple home. Perhaps that'll be possible. I don't know. All I know is that we've got to conjure up a dinner dress out of thin air. It ought to be black, Mama. Black? Mm hmm. Wait a minute, I've got a black dress. Oh, I couldn't wear one of your dresses. That would look awful. Of course you couldn't, darling. Not the way it looks now, but I could make it over for you. Peggy, that's the solution. My black silk dinner dress. Only it's been a combination dinner dress, evening dress, and party dress for more years than I can remember. Oh, Mama, what will you do for an evening oh, dress? Oh, darling, never mind about me. I haven't gone anywhere for ages. I don't expect to go anywhere for ages. You know, I'll rip it up tonight and start fitting it to you. I, I have to go downstairs now. Hi there. Anybody home? We're coming right down, Pepper. Hi, darling. Hi, Mom. Hi, Pepper. Hi, well, did you get Dad to change his mind yet, sis? About you being engaged, I mean? Well, practically. What do you mean, practically? Well, he hasn't quite given his consent yet, but he will before we fly to Chicago. I'm working on him. Oh, you are, are oh, you? Oh, Daddy, I, I didn't hear you come in. Mm, maybe it's just as well. I'd like to get a line on what's going on around here. So you're working on me, are you? <laughs> well, you can't blame a girl for trying. Oh, Daddy, if you just give your consent. Thanks. I'll never think it's right for a girl of 17 to contemplate anything as impressive as matrimony. But... I will say that if anybody could help you make a go of it, Carter Crent is the guy. Oh, Daddy, darling, does that mean that you don't mind? Does that mean that I can be engaged to him? I suppose so, baby. Till somebody else comes along you want for a husband? I'll never want anybody else, never, as long as I live. And after we're married... Now, wait a minute, wait a minute, not so fast. I am just giving my consent to an engagement, not to a marriage. I'll open it. Oh, hello, Carter. Hi, Pepper. Good evening, Mr. Young. How do you do, Carter? Carter, I thought you weren't calling for me till seven. Well, I wasn't, but I just got a wire from my mother. It says, delighted to meet Miss Young. Oh. By all means, bring her for a weekend. Love, Mother. So we can go next week. Oh, can we? Well, what's the matter? You don't sound enthusiastic. Don't I? Why, why Carter, I'd, I'd love to go, of course, only... Oh, Carter, are you sure your mother will like me? Of course she'll like you, Peggy. She'll love you. Mrs. Young, can't you persuade your daughter she's going to make a hit with my family? Well, I'm afraid not, Carter, since I, I'm i not sure myself. It's only natural that Peggy should feel a little shy at the thought of meeting them, Carter. Well, I know that. But she needn't. They're easy to get along with. And they're going to be crazy about Peggy. Everybody is. Why should they be exceptions? Gee, Carter, don't go filling her up with stuff like that. You're only making it tough for yourself. She's hard enough to live with as it is. Oh, I mm -hmm. am not. Oh, now, Pepper, don't give Carter the impression that I'm hard to live with. I wouldn't believe him, even if I listened to him. Well, after all, he's only your brother. <laughs> <laughs> I know, uh, Carter. How about you staying here for dinner with us? Oh, he can't. He's taking me out. Oh, maybe he'd rather save the money and eat here. Thank you. But we're going out stepping tonight. Especially now that Daddy's given his consent. I don't think my saying that no girl of 17 should contemplate anything as serious as matrimony is giving my consent. Daddy, you know perfectly well I overrode all your objections. Why, you even admitted that if anybody could make a go of it with me, it would be Carter. Did you really say that, Mr. Young? Well, I, I guess I must have. I'm certainly obliged to you. It's really something, isn't it, to get that kind of approval from the father of the bride. The bride? 
Doesn't that sound sweet? Uh, much too sweet to suit me. It's one thing for you and Carter to consider yourself engaged. It's quite another to be talking about you as a bride. But you will be someday, Mr. Young. And I hope a not-too-distant day. Well, I, <clears throat> I'm not going into that right now. But, uh, at least as far as I'm concerned, you can consider yourselves engaged. Oh, Daddy, darling, oh, Daddy! Okay. And now, this message from our sponsor. I wonder who is right. Carter, who believes his parents will be charmed by Peggy's appearance and behavior, or Peggy and Mrs. Young, who suspect the visit may be a good deal of a fiasco. We'll find out more about it tomorrow on Pepper Young's Family. This has been a production of Nana Radio. Lee Stevens speaking. <laughs>